waited. I waited. I waited. The Kobe one was to take uh, the two games before, and I was like, no, it's not until 4 o'clock. I need the break. I've been here like really, really, really long, though. And actually, you know what, since Scar just plugged melee it on me, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tag out as well, because Doggy, I've been here for a minute. Oh. I need to take the Mega Bus over to uh, Napville, but oh, I'm going to tag out for another New York player, another New York commentator. You guys know him well. His name's not Ben. His name's not Teasy. It's Ben Teasy. Yo, I get Ben Teasy? Yes, sir. Hey, can I can I keep that because they took mine for whatever the thing is going on with PP and they didn't give it back. Thank you. I you will get this back. All right. While we have these hand warmers going down, this is just Doby Sandwich getting in on some commentary. I don't know how I'm gonna follow up the melee and army crew because uh they look like they were on fire over here. But I'm gonna be teaming up with Ben Teasy. I really can't even see who we have going down right now. Like, I have a tiny picture to look at. And I have direct feed from once coming from Spooby. Thank you so much. That's got one. You got that good, perfect time to tag in when they have those extended hand warmers. This is a hand warmer? Okay, hand what's up? Warmers. What's up, stream? Hold on one sec. XL0 RDB PPU. RDB PPU. That. Wow. So um, he he has a lot going for him right now. That means Cactar is Mark. Is um. I, I think Cactuar is going to stick to Fox for this. I, I hope he sticks to Fox for this. Because yeah. PPU is a strong mark. And to, and to take out somebody that caliber already? Yeah. Whew. So here we go. Game one. Excels 0 versus Cactuar from PA. Playing his uh, very smart, very fast Fox. Let's see what this Puerto Rican Peach can do. Ooh, gets Ooh. that jump. Very quickly, tags on a nice fast 51%. And even with the slight, mo ooh, good punish on that standing ladies. Don't get that in his face. Even with the momentum he's got starting this match, he's not going too crazy. You haven't seen him dive a corner yet, so yeah, I, I already like that. He's thinking a lot of position. He doesn't want to go too far. Doesn't want to get sniped out. Nothing like that. Yeah, Cactuar is playing the matchup very well. He's mm -hmm. only done down airs so far as his aerial of choice. That's very smart to prevent the crouch canceling from Peach. A little bit too early on that four there. I know what he's going for. I kind of wish he would have went for a neutral air, but any edge guard is better than none in my books. So, very very tense moment. Ooh, yo, he almost got a shield pop though. Ooh. That's, the Ooh. That's the neutral air I wanted. That was very, very well placed neutral air by XL Zero. Cactar messes up the wave dash, trying to finish off this stock. And there, there he goes. Now the down there, like you've been saying, that's the only thing he's been throwing. Good choice against Peach because it's real hard for her to get up and really contest it. Keeps the yep. pin down, wears on his shield. It's everything you really want. Sets up uh, drill shine up smash. Even follows your taxes. <laughs> it definitely does. It's definitely one of Fox's more multi-purpose moves. Ooh, giving up the position, trying to attack the corner. That's all right. Cactar getting back to the middle. Not going yet. He... I like how he's waiting. He's letting Excel Shield go down so we can start fishing for Shield Stab. Didn't get one there. That's okay. Drill Shine Up Smash, like we were talking about, second stop. Cactuar is a very, very patient fox. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can expect him to use the most effective tactic until Excel Zero can adapt to it. And it doesn't seem like he's uh, had an answer on this third stop for Cactuar. The, the way I, ooh, there we go. That's one thing I like. If he's going to play from his shield, and Excel has been spending a lot of time in his shield, he's got to start throwing a couple of up Bs. As, as even though that's not the best choice, it's better than him sitting there getting worn down yeah, time definitely. and time again because, yo, down air is in effect. He can even attempt to trade with the neutral air to just, just to get Fox knocked down so that he can start up some momentum because right now Cactuar is using those platforms so effectively and he's just pretty much going nuts on these platforms, and Excel Zero has just not had an answer. Getting pinned down again, but it goes with a jump cancel, or a float cancel neutral air. 
Oh, loves the edge guard. Yep, yeah. couldn't get up there in time for the back air. Cactuar is going to take his space now. Oh, he's just like staring him down. That, he's like, what you going to do, bro? That's classic Cactuar <laughs> right there. So people are so bent on movement and everything. Cactuar actually has standstills in his strategy. It's yeah. actually very intimidating. Being a uh, Marth main originally, he does have a lot of bait and wait uh, styles, strategies with Fox. There's that down there. He's not He's not going to give her the couch cancel for down smash, which is very smart. Another back air. Well spaced back air, keeping control of that air. And I'm actually okay with him giving up the less because he's got three stocks to one. Just why force anything? Why give up, a, give up a stock? Maybe give up momentum? Just play it nice and smooth. Gets grabbed. He's going to get four thrown. Doesn't even really DI too much. It doesn't matter too much. Down tilt, up smash, up tilt. Forward smash, a lot of things be killed right now. Back air. Yeah, I feel like Excel Zero should just use this match kind of like his data, because uh, it was going to be a really, really, really hard comeback to make there. So. And I think it's kind of funny that all the things I listed that could kill, Neutral Air didn't make it on the list, <laughs> but it caught him trying to run. Yep, no DI on that Neutral Air, and that was a quick death for him. Let's see where his counter pick is going to be. Ooh, FD, FD for the chain grab. Yeah, I was about to say, FD got left on the board. I kind of like wonder it. if he's. I kind of wonder if he struck, um, or if he banned Dreamland. I, I would think he banned Fountain of Dreams. Found a lot of, of spaces don't like the mixed tights on the platforms. But uh, this is definitely another big peach threat here, yes, if he is. can get a grab. And it takes away Cactuar's platform camping, which was a very big part of his victory in last game. Now, I've been really focused on him sitting in shield, and there you go with a uh, grab attempt. I didn't really see him go for too many grabs game one, especially yeah. from shield. So kind of wonder if he will throw that into his game now. That's very true. Uh, I think I saw him land two and maybe attempt three or four. So That's a very low number. But he gets a quick edge guard on that attempted magnet from Cactuar and just like that he's up a stock. Ooh. <laughs> I like that a cheeky little walk up to, a, to another grab. So yeah, he's really thinking about the grabs here. And I'll smash out of shield. That's something you don't see every day. Seems like Cactuar is getting a little more impatient since he doesn't have the platforms to jump around and hide on. Uh, I feel like he feels a little more pressured in this neutral game. He's not willing to just stare her down as much anymore. Ooh, good neutral air control in that space, keeping him from jumping up at him. I kind of question if that dash attack was fun as well, but it's a little too late to talk about it now. It's gone. Good backer, just hung it out there. Ooh. Great counterattack there. Yep. Cactuar is back though. Great near out of shield. That's what I want to see after the after the shine. It's really hard to do it before the shine. Uh -huh. But unless Cactuar commits to a really early nair after the shine, uh, Peach can neutral air pretty effectively after the shine. It's like get off me, bro. Oh. Get off me, bro. We holding a holding a marble right now, man. Cactuar really needs to end this stock. He doesn't want to go down two stocks. His, his stocks go very quickly on this stage. Nice back air. Yep. Got the heels. Oh. Great dash wow. attack. Wow. Jason. Ooh. Ooh. Good look by Excel. And we got Ooh. the bomb. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> oh, Cactuar almost got shield stabbed by the bomb. That, that would have been most unfortunate. You know, I kind of wish he would have held it when I think about it. He's already at 163, so what could he really lose by getting a bomb bomb deflected back at him, you know? I mean, he's not giving up the stock. Having his aerials has been a big part in getting to 72% right now. Uh-huh. Ooh. is really struggling to finish off the stock. Aw. Oh. Air dodge will do it. How about that? Yeah. Better than nothing, Unfortunately, right? he tried to crouch cancel, and he touched the ledge, yep. and the ledge cancels out your hit stun. So trying to tech, he got an air dodge and fell off. Cactuar resorting to a little more grabs now. It's, he's realized that his aerial approaches are getting nerd out of shield constantly, so and he's again, trying to switch it up a little bit. And again, I don't I don't blame him. That was a punish on a down smash, but I don't blame him for just looking for a lot more grabs than neutral, because even in through how I feel looking at this, I say Excel is playing a little too much in shield. He's got the yep. movement, he's wave dashing in shield, jumping out, roll. We've even seen as far down as an up smash. But more often than not, anytime you look up you see a blue bubble on the screen, so Yep. And that's just a, a testament to how good Cactuar's pressure is. He doesn't let uh, Excel Zero Ooh. start his neutral game up. But just like that, Excel Zero gets another great edge guard. And Cactuar's on his last stock for this game. 
Ooh. Can he get it? Yo, I'm pretty sure he got this. Ooh, twerking. Oh. Got greedy there. Yes. Kegtar is not able to recover in time to punish that. Hey, but he's back on the stage. He better take that for what it is. This is Fox McCloud with those bionic red legs. This is still anybody's <laughs> game right here. Excel Zero cannot get too comfortable right now. Feeling Mount trying to close the gap slightly. Ooh, great wave dashing. That turn up. Mm. Mm. Great game by Puerto Rico there. And you can hear his uh his friends cheering in the in the crowd in Spanish. You see the flag <laughs> on the screen, man. They are uh, they are excited right now. They are hyped for the man. Cactuar is one of Tri-State's strongest players, so you know if he gets a victory like this after getting a victory over Pew Pew U, that says a lot. Being able to dominate the styles on both coasts. Do you think he's gonna have to fight through Pokemon Stadium right now? Um, I feel like Pokemon Stadium is probably his ban. Okay. Uh, well, higher level Peach players are not as scared on Yoshi's because Fox can't run away as well on yes. Yoshi's. It's a much more confined space. So I think he's perfectly fine taking the early kills on Yoshi's and not giving him the runaway on Pokemon. Now, see, here's, here's my thing, though. He, like I said, he spent a lot of time in Shield. So Fox not running away, that doesn't seem to be his problem. He, I see him open up a little bit more and trade it with an upbeat to get some pressure away. But my question is, now Cactar has to stay in his face. What is he really going to do with that? I don't think Cactar is actually going to stay in his face. I think Cactar is going to try to just bait him around on the platforms like he did in game one. Okay. That was his effective strategy. It was a uh, three stock in game one, I believe. So It was uh, heavy. <laughs> yeah. He just he just wants to go back to down airing and platforms. Oh. Like six, Excel Zero capitalized Ooh. on that missed L cancel so well. Yes. And just like that, Cactuar's first stock is off. But he still got a pretty good position. 81%. Trying Anything not here to will kill Peach. Yeah. He's just trying to get one hard hit. Representing a lot of back air. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to sneak in an up air anywhere. Yeah, there it was right there, just as you called it. No sign up, Snaz. Standard issue. Crashing against the screen. 3-3. Three, three. It's a good look. Even game here on Yoshi Story in the last match of the set. Mm. Oh, great Ooh. damage. Great capitalization by the Peach player. Excel Zero is doing so much work right now. I like how he got away from that. Ooh. Caught him going a little too high. Great. And I like his edge guarding has been so on point this set. I am really impressed by this yeah, Puerto like, Rican Peach player right now. I'm liking how he's keeping his feet on the stage so he doesn't get caught going too far. If, yep. he, miss, if he would miss at that point, he'd probably be dead to a shine or he'd yep. be in a real bad position. Exactly. Keep it on stage. It's, it's so safe and effective. Yes. Cactuar seems to be at a loss right now. He's messing up technically a lot. The nerves are getting to him. And that's rare for such an experienced player. Oh, oh dear. No, he's all right. Luckily, the fire came through. Through the fire and the flames? Exactly. <laughs> Looking for one more hard hit to end this stock right now. Uh, and another technical error by Cactar. Excel Zero has done so much great edge guarding this set that it looks like it's gotten into Cactuar's head. I kind of wonder if he was, for whatever reason, look, looking for Randall. Good shield stab with that backer there after all that pressure. I kind of wonder if he was looking for Randall, even though that was the wrong time, especially since we have a timer on screen. Yeah. We, we got to catch up these drill shots, man. <laughs> Back but air, keep him in check. Being the experienced player that he is, Cactuar is not one to give up. He's going to fight this match out to the very end. And this is still anyone's game. Ooh, good catch. Great safe pressure by Cactuar so far. Trying to throw in a lot of empty jumps, a lot of tomahawks, as we call them in Tri-State. And, uh, ooh, try to fish for that up smash. Up smash beats all of her aerials on incoming. And, so. it, and again, since he's so cautious about his last stock, you saw he got her a little bit off the stage, and he could have took the position on the platform. He just fell back immediately to the middle. Doesn't want anything yep. to do with that. Drill sign up smash. Again, I wish it would have kept the count of how many of those he got like this we have It was like seven or eight. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty it's hot right now. That's been his very uh, common go-to execute right there. Ooh, great right back here. Both of them down on the last Take stage right control. Cactus are so efficient with the pressure. Zell Zero is having a hard time closing it out. Cactus is on the verge of taking the percent lead. I mean, it's getting to the point where the lead doesn't matter. It's just, is she in kill percent? Nice! What's the follow up? Forcing Cactar to go high. Can't get there to do anything. Has to load him back to the middle. Good jabs. Keep him in check. 
Oh, and that was a nice safe dash attack. Nothing he could really do. It would be kind of a strong commitment to wave dash to a up smash there. Ooh! Great. Great. Wow. Excel Zero won that match strictly on his capitalization on his edge guards. Yes. Every time he knocked Cactuar off the stage, it was a stock. That's.